these plants are a little different. I still need to catch up on some shows. I need to do some journaling. I still want to read. I don't really have plans to do any cleaning. I'm going to do some laundry a little bit. But my mom is coming over later and we're going to run some errands. I'm not going to vlog any of that, but I will show you guys if I buy anything. But that's kind of it for my day. I was going to try to maybe wear makeup, but now that I'm awake, I don't feel like wearing makeup. So I'm not going to do that today. errands with my mom and my brother and I bought a couple of things so I thought I would share with you guys the first two things actually my parents bought me for my birthday I didn't really ask for anything specific but I did ask for this magazine of Lana I have been searching everywhere for this magazine and my parents were going on a trip so I asked them, could you look for it at like any bookstore? And they found this magazine and I'm so happy I have this. I actually have two copies because one, I just wanted to flip through and read it and just have the magazine. The other one I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna put it in a frame. I actually have a plan to put the cover in a frame and then I'm planning to also cut some of her like pages from the magazine and also kind of interchange them in the frame if that makes sense so yeah i'm very very happy that my parents were able to find this for me and this is kind of like a birthday present because i didn't really ask for anything i asked for something else but they couldn't find it so i'm just probably gonna order that online but i'm so happy that i have this this is literally one of my favorite photo shoots lana has ever done also this is like the biggest magazine i've ever had in my entire life i didn't realize that interview magazine was literally this massive <laughs> the other things i bought today so i bought this frame actually to fit the magazine like i said i think i'm gonna cut it up and put it in here and hopefully it'll work i'm kind of nervous that it won't but i don't know i think i'm gonna try to do this project i will definitely show you guys the results eventually once i get it together but yeah i measured out the frame and the magazine and everything so hopefully that works i just bought the frame from michael's i think it was like maybe 15 dollars or less something like that and then i bought two bedding items the one actually i bought this one weeks ago but it's so cute i just have to share it and i haven't washed it yet but i got this sheet set from walmart it is by the brand shabby chic and it is a four piece sheet set i just love the pattern the print this is going to be my spring summer bedding i'm very very excited i've recently got into buying more bedding and experimenting with bedding i think it truly makes a bedroom and i just saw this and i immediately fell in love and i was like i need this 
for my bedding. If you've watched any of my old videos, I have like a very big white duvet, which is very nice, but it is very, very thick and heavy and it's all right for winter time. I just feel like it's too heavy and it's too hot, especially for like spring, summer. So I have been on the hunt for a white quilt to go with this. And I actually found one from Walmart today, which I'm very happy about. I found this nice three piece quilt set. I think this was actually kind of expensive. It was like $90 which is pretty pricey, but I wanted a really light duvet blanket. I feel like my duvet is just way too heavy and I cannot stand it in the summer. I just feel like I can't sleep with it. It is too heavy. And this is really nice. It is like a cotton polyester blend, I guess. I am kind of nervous that it will pill, but I feel like if I just wash it by itself, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to put this on my bed with these white or with these floral sheets. I just think it's gonna look so cute. I'm very excited for my spring bedding. Also while I was at Walmart, I was specifically looking for this because I saw it on TikTok and I was like, I need this. And it is this little two piece PJ set. It's just this cute little blue and purple like floral set. It is so cute, I just, had to have this it was like 16 dollars i think yeah which i feel like is pretty decent for pajamas i just thought it was so cute i had to have it so i am very excited to wear these pajamas i'm really into like floral prints at the moment and then i just got like some necessities like dryer sheets and then i've never used this but I'm gonna try this for like whites and stuff. This is just OxyClean stain remover stuff and basically to keep your whites white. And then I got toilet paper and laundry detergent and then I also bought chocolate. I bought these because they were actually on sale. They were like a dollar cheaper and these in my opinion are the best Easter chocolates ever. I absolutely love these little white eggs. They're so addicting, I could like eat the whole thing in one day. I officially finished Escaping from Houdini by Karen Maniscalco. This is the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I really enjoyed this, but I did have some conflicting feelings. Audrey Rose kind of annoyed me, but that's okay because I did enjoy it. As you can see, I did put a lot of sticky tabs in here, and this is actually the first book that I have fully annotated. I actually wrote with pen in here, which is kind of fun. I've been slowly kind of starting my annotating journey and I've talked a lot about how I really want to get into annotating more and just have a little bit more of a personal connection with my books. I kind of started with Baby Steps by just adding sticky tabs where I felt like a scene or a page that I really enjoyed and I've kind of done that off and on with a lot of my books mainly like my favorite books I would do that with but this is actually the first book that I've used pen and actually have like written in the book well I haven't written any like notes on the side or anything like that I just mainly kind of underlined things that I liked or things that I would want to go back to in the future. Thinking back, I kind of wish I would have started annotating Hunting Prince Dracula, but I am glad I started 
annotating in general and actually using pen and underlining things i will say i don't love the pen that i have so i definitely need to get a different pen i don't have a like scheme or like i don't associate a sticky tab with a certain scene i kind of just use whatever sticky tab i want and whatever kind of matches the cover of the book but i'm excited i'm excited that this is the first book that i've started this other step with eventually i'm sure i'm gonna like actually write little notes or things on the side yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this book i wasn't really a fan of the plot i guess well it's more of like a side plot really i did like the whole mystery with the like carnival and magic element i thought that was really fun and of course i really loved audrey rose and thomas together although this book was very frustrating and very like angsty and i definitely didn't love their storyline like their romance storyline it wasn't going in a direction that i loved but that means i'm on to the last book which i'm very excited about this is capturing the devil i don't know whether or not people love the finale of the series i've kind of tried to stay away from reviews and stuff i don't really want to know too much about the book because i've been really enjoying kind of going into a series not knowing very much it's also been nice to get back into some ya i feel like that's why i've been struggling reading recently is because i've just been reading so many mediocre romances and they just haven't been fulfilling me and so i just needed a little bit of a palette cleanser and i'm happy that i'm kind of going back to ya a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna continue on my ya journey after this series there are a couple series i would love to continue that are ya i would actually love to read uh carrie maniscoco's other series because i do own the first two and i actually bought the third one today with the indigo members sale that they had going on that ended today i just went ahead and bought the third book already because i know i'm gonna fly through that series so i might actually just move on to that series after i finish this one or i might read the last hour series or i have um the harbinger series by jla to finish i also do need to finish book lovers by emily henry i've just been feeling a lot of pressure from reading just reading like good books and enjoying what i've been reading and i feel like nothing has been truly satisfying me and so i think that's why i've just been kind of confused on like what i want to read and stuff and it's also kind of made me feel a little unmotivated with videos and content and stuff i had a lot of plans for videos in march and april and i just don't think it's gonna happen because i'm just not feeling i i really just don't want to force what i'm reading i don't want to force certain videos i don't want to force things that i'm not in the mood for or that i don't feel like i can give a hundred percent so yeah my videos might be different for a little while i'm also just feeling very tired of only making book content it's just very exhausting especially when i'm not really reading i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye